Question two here is very interesting. It tells us that xy is negative 60 and that uh, yz is negative 50. And in looking at these two, um, we're asked to find, compare the quantity A, which is xz, and compare that to zero uh, quantity B. Now, let's jump right into this. If you think about what we have in front of us, x, right, x here, if I just modify this, x is just going to be, well, I'm just going to divide by y on both sides, yeah? So x is negative 60 over y. If I do the same thing here, because they want us to multiply x times y. If I try to find y here, I'm also going to divide by y. So my z is negative 50 over y, okay? So these are the things we have here. So if I bring that over here, it means I pretty much have a negative 60 over y times a negative 50 over y. Now in multiplying these two, what we end up having, to be honest with you, is really just going to be a positive number. Because, check this out, if I multiply a negative and negative, I'm going to get a positive. Now you may say, well, but how about the y? What if the y was negative or something? Well, if it was, it would end up being y squared, and the square of a negative will always still be positive as well. And obviously the top here is just going to be 0, 0, 3, 0. So it's 3,000 over y squared. So no matter what I do for this a, I'm going to get a positive number. Even though I don't know the y, I know to end up being positive. It doesn't matter what it is. The reason why the y doesn't really matter is I'm comparing this to zero. I really don't need a number here. I just need to know if it's positive or negative. And so because of that, if I know a is a positive number and I'm comparing it to zero, even a dollar, which is positive, is bigger than zero. So you know that as long as you just get a positive number um, compared to zero, the positive number is greater. So the answer here is A. And that's kind of how you do a question like this. So I just really wanted to get a sense of what X was and Y was, not in terms of numbers, but just in terms of whether it was positive or negative, because I'm comparing to zero. All I need to know is the sign. And the moment I know that, I know the A is greater than zero. Um, so the answer here is A.